Have you ever walked the floor? Wondering how you were going to pay, pay your bills. Can you turn this? Yeah. Then a still small voice says, Be strong, be strong, baby, be, 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 be strong. Sometimes struggle, struggle is, it is God who you know what he says? He says, he says, I'm never late. No, no. I'm always on time. Yes. Get ready for your miracle. Move on up to the front of the line. Today is your day. Today is your day. Tonight is your night. I come all the way. You're next The next in line For a miracle Oh, a miracle I wish I had a church A oh, miracle You're next in line And I don't know who this song is for But you're next in line you got to tell the devil I'm tired of bringing up the rear. You're next in line. Let that devil know I walk in the fullness of God. You're next in line for me. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Miracle. We worship the Lord with us.
strong man in this house with my spiritual eyes I can see just what the strong man is doing to my whole family
time. Can I get everybody? Come on, let's run the devil out of here. The Holy Ghost said some of you been sick long enough. You've been down long enough. Some of you, your children been in trouble long enough. But I dare you to help me say, go on. You got to go
Caesar! The Caesar singers! My friends, Pastor, my friends, excuse me, our co-host Melvin Williams, where's Melvin on the other side over here? Just want to come and say, is this, this is another album that you have on, not this particular song though, right? Yes. Okay. We've just... I just did a live CD the other night at my church. You got a new CD coming out? Oh, yes. And what we did, we went all the way back. I did Hold My Mule. Uh-uh, no, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did, uh, I did this song, Jesus, I you, Love to you, Call uh, Your Name. Yeah. I did a song with Joe Lagun. Oh, wait a minute, I did Sweeping Through the City with Joe. Oh, okay, uh, okay. We just went all the way back. back. Get all, getting all the good ones. That's all right, we went ones. all the way back. It is the vintage Shirley Caesar. The vintage uh, <laughs> Pastor yeah. Shirley Caesar. Uh, Don't you like that? I wonder what's wrong with this audience. Why? Bless you all. I remember the mama and the love that she gave her. Kneeling by her bedside, I can see her, your mama say The people are depending on you, don't you let them down Well, I remember mama in a happy way children you used to play church come on I know it I know because some of you still playing and uh everything the grown folk did I could do it I whoop I could jerk I even could speak in a tongue but I didn't have anything and nothing from nothing leaves nothing and so you gotta always remember that when you're playing church That there is an old sinner That's looking at you And I remember I used to go Down to the church and My brother Was a preacher and Me and my sister Ann We were the members In the church And uh, My brother Said so we gonna call Jesus three times, y'all. Well, I jumped up the first time. I said, Jesus! But I didn't have nothing. There was no fire in it, no anointing in it. Got to the second time, ah, oh, Jesus! I But I didn't have nothing. Sat back down acting like I was happy. But 
know the time to go right <laughs> Something got a hold of me Can I get a witness? I said, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus I start dancing In the backyard My mother Looked out Back and Said, Shirley, I ain't playing this time Hallelujah! I remember. I remember, Mama. Oh yeah. In a happy way. Is the sentiment of my heart because I had a praying mother. I said, I had a praying mother. If there anybody in here that'll testify, I said, Pastor Shirley, I had a praying mother. Yeah, if you did, if you had a good mother, somebody say, Glory. Say glory. Glory. Yeah, yeah. glory. Oh, 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 oh. Give me an A flat, A flat. Can the church say amen? amen. Can the church say amen again? Amen. me to go to Shaw University right over there uh, somebody ought to really clap your hands and I've come tonight to tell all of our young people do not accept no for an answer somebody's gonna tell you that you're not capable of learning your head is too hard your skull is too thick but look at your neighbor and tell him that devil is a liar. <laughs> Point your right hand at yourself and say, I can learn. And I am going to school. And so I want to dedicate this song tonight. Where's little David? Come here, son. I want to sing this song and dedicate it to all of these young people. You know, I know, I know y'all been getting into it, but I want to slow it down just a tad because I want our young folk to know that when you add it all up, the cost of real love, it's not in the sneakers, it's not in the designer jeans, hello somebody, so I believe in bringing it right down front, but the cost of real love is no charge. This little boy came into the kitchen one evening while she was fixing supper and he handed a piece of paper he had been writing on and so after she wiped her hands on her apron she took the letter in her hands and she read it and this is what it said up my own bed this week one dollar for going to the store 50 cents if I'm playing with little brother mama while you went out shopping 25 cents now listen to this taking out the trash one dollar if I'm getting a good report card Began to flash through her mind 
tears in his eyes and he said, Mama, I sure do love you. And then he reached out and he got the letter in his hand and he turned it over and he wrote in great big words, paid in full. Crying snouts come out of my nose, right in this summer. I said, I don't want to keep on living here and not see you in the end. I said, I don't want to know your name and you not know much before I get to the game. I told God, I said, Please hold me. Hold me close I said, wrap me in your arms And never let me go Hold me Hold me close I don't want to keep on preaching And not believing I don't want to keep on running Tripping over my sin Myself I don't want to know your name Jesus To the gate, so please hold me, hold me close. Whatever you do, God, don't, don't let me live for you and not see you in the end. Hold me, hold me close. Don't let me keep serving my church and I don't get to see your face. Hold me. Hold me close. I said, please. Hold. That's what I told God. Please, please hold me. Hold me close. Whatever you do, don't let me go. So I said, hold me close. 
said, please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please hold me. Somebody on to sing it tonight. Hold me close. Wrap your arm around you. Said, please hold me. Please hold me. Please hold me. Hold me, hold me. Hold me, hold me. Oh, Lord, please hold me. Oh, don't let me go astray. some of the members here tonight one Sunday morning in Mount Calvary just before we brought the word I walked over to her and I said God said it's your time she's here tonight Deborah God said it's your time to be blessed God told me to tell you you're next in line for a miracle now listen now listen to me she had not walked in over 10 years. Couldn't stand up, couldn't do anything. Her mother's here tonight. But early one Sunday morning in Mount Calvary, they found a, a walker from somewhere. She couldn't do this. She got up begin to walk. Deborah, I hope somebody got a walker here because the healer is in the room tonight. She woke up one morning and couldn't walk, but watch God pass it to him. 
You're next in line for your miracle. Pass it on to him. Your breakthrough tonight. Your breakthrough, your breakthrough has come, Deborah. She got sick, and uh, she was uh, married, of course, and uh, her husband left her, and nobody was there to take care of her. She stayed in the hospital for over a year. After the year, uh, she got out of the hospital, and uh, I was uh, mama there to take care of her, so I said, thank God I'm here, and I'm going to take care of you. Uh, I just bless the Lord uh, who is the head of my life and I just want to thank God for uh, blessing me and for healing my body. He is continuously healing me. Um, I'm in stages and I know that God is going to bring me completely up out of this chair. And I just want to thank God for that. He's working in my life and um, he's blessing me and actually today's uh, recording uh, June 17th, today, in 1985, I gave my life to Christ on June 17th. So I just want to thank God for being in my life for all those years because I know that without uh, the hand of Jesus being in my life, I would not be, would have not been able to make it thus far. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank God for placing pastor in my life. She is a blessing to me uh, when I was in the hospital. And I did not know uh, her. Uh, a young nurse brought me some tapes and it just happened to be Pastor Caesar's tapes that she was singing and her music uh, got me through daily when I was in the hospital for that year. So I just want to thank God for her and lo and behold she's now my pastor. And I want to also thank God and give recognition too to my mom because uh, I just thank God for that. She has really um, been there with me on a daily basis when you see people uh, just in a day, you don't know what they've been through on a daily basis. And I just want to thank God for that. He can do it for anybody. The doctors told me that I was going blind. Nashville, God healed me. They wanted to take my right kidney out. But I stand tonight to tell you when the doctors came to me and brought me some papers to sign, I took those papers. I said, I'm going home. I got to talk to my big brother. I said, I got a doctor in my family. And this doctor said to me, he said, I know all of your mother's children. You don't have no doctors in your family. Said, are you talking about Julius? I said, no, I'm talking about Jesus. And I took the paper and I checked myself out of the hospital and I went home. And they carried me upstairs and they said, now you know, Shirley, you got to get in the bed. The doctors told us to put you straight to bed. I said, before I get in, I'm going down on my knees. And when I went down on my knees, looked like I saw at least three angels waiting in line. Looked like I saw Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. And each one of the angels stood there with their wings dripping in heavenly medicine, saying, Lord, let me go down there. God said, I want he said, I want to send you, but I want to send somebody that can get there right now. Michael said, I can get there in three seconds. God said, no. Gabriel said, I can get there in two seconds. God said, no. Raphael said, well, I can get there in a half of it. God said, no. So the angels took two steps back and said, well, Lord, since we cannot get there in time, why don't you go yourself? And God took even two more steps back. He said, you listen here. I don't have to go because...